all right folks welcome back to the channel ha we're gonna talk about why i went pro charger over all the other supercharger options uh that are out there uh, i got three good reasons may think of a couple more while i'm driving around but we haven't done this for a while so let's start off with a cold start I want to keep the shaker hood so in order to keep the shaker hood though I believe Magnuson if I'm not mistaken makes a kit uh, that you can use their supercharger uh, and keep your shaker hood um, I just went with with the pro charger just because I can keep the shaker hood uh, won't have to do any fabrication anything crazy to, uh, to keep my shaker hood uh, there was a uh, there is a, a guy out there I think uh, he supercharged his 392 I believe I can't remember it was either a 5.7 or 392 shaker he put um, I can't remember which manufacturer he went with uh, but he did want put one of the root style or a positive displacement style supercharger on one of his uh, on his car and they had to do a lot of fabrication to to make it work so I didn't want to go through all of that so to avoid all of that I just went with this with the uh, with a pro charger so that's you know key number one was I wanted to keep the shaker hood number two uh, the centrifugal, centrifugal, centrifugal superchargers are a little less harsh on the rest of the drivetrain. So the transmission, the drive shaft, axles, all of those things. The uh, centrifugal superchargers are a little less harsh uh, on on those other components. Uh, not that I'm gonna, not that I'm not going to have to upgrade those, which I'm going to have to upgrade those eventually. Um, it's just a little less. And the reason, the basic reason for that, without getting into too much technical detail, is the positive displacement superchargers uh, are linear, right? So literally their power is right when you step on the gas small slight spool up but basically the power is right there so when you're launching and things like that you've got all that power pushing through your drivetrain with uh with you know the pro charger top style or centrifugal 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 uh, it is more like a turbo it's got to spool up a little bit before you start feeling all that power That being said, and and those and the Pro Star Pro Charger type type uh, superchargers, they are um, they're not linear. They are. Um, uh, I'm 
losing the word right now. <laughs> so they go by uh, the multiple powers, right? So your curve is lower at the end, but as you gain RPMs, you gain more and more power, right? So it starts off slow, and then the curve bends uh, rather quickly uh, to, to get you spooled up. So that get, being said, a little less, a uh, little less on, a uh, little less stress on the rest of the the, uh, the powertrain, the drivetrain. Uh, another reason why I went with the Pro Charger in the beginning, I'm like a lot of folks, man. I hated that box of rocks sounding thing when you're sitting at an idle uh, or sitting in the lanes, and you can hear. <laughs> I just couldn't couldn't deal with that all the time. So now that they come up with these uh, helical bearings, you don't get that. You don't get that noise anymore. So basically, now it sits under the hood. You can barely hear it, uh, and it almost sounds like it's not there. So that's another reason. Another reason I went with Pro Charger is uh, they give you a complete kit. No kidding, top to bottom. Uh, pretty much, you know, if you want to buy everything from them, you can get everything you need from them. From the little itty bitty things like the map sensors and, uh, you know, fuel pump, all of that stuff, you can get that through them. I didn't buy the, the, the complete kit, I bought most of it. So I got the, uh, I upgraded to the 1DX supercharger. Gives me a little, little more growth room. Uh, when, you know, when I go ahead and forge everything and I wanna add more boost, it gives me more room to add more horsepower. Uh, I went with the race intercooler just because I race. <laughs> Plus, it does help a lot more with, uh, with the cooling. So those are the three big upgrades. The gears, the, uh, the supercharger itself, and the race intercooler uh, are the things I upgraded. And you know, someone said you don't put cheap and pro charger in the same sentence, but when you compare it to all of the other supercharger options, uh, pro charger is, is one of the cheaper options. Now, I think in another video, I'll go into why I went specifically with Pro Charger and not some of the other centrifugal superchargers. I'll do that in another video. Uh, this is just comparing to things like Whipple, Magnuson, uh, and those folks. So another reason I went with the Pro Charger is because not only are they cheaper than everything else, they make great power. All right, got it. All of these superchargers, these, this is my opinion, right? Everyone's gonna have their opinion, I, I get it. But my, just my opinion, Pro Charger seems to make, make a lot of power. And it's gonna continue to make power all the way through the top end. Where some of the other superchargers, the root style of twin screw, they, they, they tend to top off their growth uh, they don't necessarily top off in power but they begin like I said they're linear so it begins to top off uh, when you get around the top end and got it they all work on you know the rpms of the engine and you're stealing power to make power got that conversation you know I could have went turbos a turbo or a twin turbo but that's just not the route I wanted to go there's just too much uh, additional fabrication and things like that that I just didn't want to get into uh, with with going with a turbo. So that's why I went with the Pro Charger. Uh, so it's on order. Should be here in a couple weeks.
to burn out that carbon. Clean her out. Get them injectors cleaned out. So, all right. So in another video too, I'll go through all the options I got. Those were just the minimal options, the Pro Charger I got. I'll go into the injectors and everything else that I got uh, that you're gonna need to put the kit together. And I'll also do a, uh, not a full blown install video, but kind of like I did with the axles, kind of the big pieces you need to do to install, install a Pro Charger. So that video will be coming uh, once it comes in. Uh, now it's just uh, a waiting game to see when the supercharger comes in, when the Pro Charger comes in, uh, when I can line up uh, a couple of my buddies. They volunteered to help me out. So I'm going to do the installation uh, myself with some help. And that'll cut down, you know, on any additional costs when it comes to installation. Uh, and these guys have done it before uh, on their car, on their own car. <laughs> so I, I trust them. Uh, and I've seen them at the track a few times. So that's going to kind of wrap it up for this one, folks. Again, this is my opinion. My, uh, you know, it's not my own. It's not only my opinion, but it's my opinions on uh, and reasons for why I went with the Pro Charger. I uh, love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Whether you, you know, you agree with me, you don't agree with me. That's all fine and dandy, and great. I love it. Uh, you know, constructive criticism, right? As long as it's constructive and it's not like, oh, you should have just bought a, a, a whipple and been done with it. Well, tell me why you think I should have bought a whipple. Get into some detail. Don't just, you know, just don't bash me. You know what I mean? Give me something I can go with. Say, hey, you know, you should have went with this and this is why. And it doesn't have to be a long comment, just a short one. Hey, you should have went with Whipple and because, you know, the powers at the, the bottom end and all of these things, you know, all of the reasons. You know, you can refute the reasons why I went with Pro Charger. Um, that's all fine and dandy. Love that constructive criticism. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, folks. If you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the other content of the channel. Why is that whittling so much? Oh, well, anyway, stop in, look at the other content. If you like what's going on with the channel, do those four things. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, and throw in a comment. So that's it for this one, folks. Until next time, adios.